In today's shorty tutorial episode, I'm going to be talking you through how you can create an SOP, which is a standard operating procedure document within Google Drive using Google Docs. I'm going to be giving you a short tutorial on Google Docs and some of the features that you can use to make things really easy for yourself when you are creating SOPs. If you'd like to know more about SOPs and why it's important to create them for your private practice, I'll link to another video that I did recently talking to you all about that. Just quickly for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim. I help therapists in private practice get online, get confident with admin and reduce tech overwhelm. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can get to your drive so that you can create your SOP document. So the first thing to do is when you're in your inbox, head up to the nine dots up here, which is Google Apps, click on that and then find the drive. Yours might be in a different location, but it's gonna look like this drive. This is where you can create documents, spreadsheets, client files, and things like this. So you can store all of your practice information securely. So what I would suggest doing first is creating a folder for your practice. So I've got Simmons counseling, so I'm gonna click on there. And then what I would suggest is create an SOP folder. You can call that practice procedures, practice processes, SOPs, whatever it is that you want to call it. So I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna add a new folder or you can click up here, go to new and click new folder there. So then we're just gonna give it a title. So I'm just gonna call it SOPs and create. If you wanted to, you can start color coding and things like that. To be able to do that, just right click over it and go to change color and you can choose whatever color you want. So now click into the SOP folder and what we're then going to do is create a Google doc. So here you want to go to new Google doc and this is just like a word template. So really simple to use. So you can just start typing and just list your procedure however you want it. But there are some tricks that you can do to make this much more user friendly. So the first thing you want to do is decide what font you want to write in. So if you click up here, you can find a load of different fonts here and you just select the one that you like the look of. I like using this one here. And then you can change the size of the font and things like that. So I'm going to call this SOP Client Onboarding. Once you have given it a title, if you click up here where it says untitled document, the first line of the document is going to be repeated up here and that's what the title of the document is going to be called. Okay, so then I want you to think about all of the different procedures that you want to do. So the first section might be adding clients to the master list. The second might be sending your client a welcome email. And the third might be booking the appointments onto the calendar. Your fourth action might be to send clients paperwork. Your next action might be to create a client file. Once the paperwork is received back, you might want to add important information to the master list. So you want to update the master list. And finally, you might want to save the completed paperwork into the client file. Once you have all of the steps, you want to actually break down exactly how you're going to do that. So the first thing is this is all looking a little bit samey. So we want to make sure that we know what is a heading and what is text. So the first thing I'm going to do is just highlight the top section. I'm going to put that in the center and I'm just going to make that quite a bit bigger. I'm going to do the same to each of the headings. So I'm going to update the first one, make that a little bit bigger. And then what I'm going to do is save that as heading two. So I'm going to update heading two to match. Okay, and we're just going to add a couple of spaces between each one for text. Okay, and then what I can do is highlight each of these and make them head in two. So all I'm doing is highlighting them and clicking on head in two. And I'll explain why I'm doing it this way in a moment. So the next one I'm going to do is input the text of how to actually complete each task. So I'm going to do the first one of adding client to master list. Once I've written the first procedure, I'm gonna move on and continue completing the SOP. Okay, so let's say that I have now completed this SOP and I have all of the details. What I also want to show you is how you can link to different things within the SOP to make it even easier to follow. So where I've got here open master list, what I wanna do is get the link to the master list so that I can open it straight from the SOP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my Simmons counseling. I found my master client list template. I'm gonna right click, get the link, I'm going to copy it and click done. So I'm going to go back to my SOP. I'm going to highlight the words that I want to link. I'm going to click here, insert link, 
and I'm going to paste the link and click apply. Now you can see it's got this blue text with an underline. So when I click here and then click again, it's going to take me directly to my master list. So it makes it so much easier to follow a procedure if you've got links within the document itself, rather than trying to look around your drive to find all of the different things. The next thing I want to show you is how you can add a table into your document so that you can make it even easier to follow the procedure. So I'm going to add a couple of lines up here. And then what I'm going to do is go to insert table of contents and then you can select which one you like the look of. So you can either use this one, which is going to have the text with the page number that it's on. So it looks like this. Then what you can do is just click. So let's say I want to find out how to add an appointment to calendar. I can click there and it will take me directly to that process. Or what you can do, you can use this one here, which just has links like this. And you can just click on the link and it'll do the exact same thing. Now I prefer the other one, so I'm just gonna update that. And now we have our client onboarding SOP completed. So if I come off this, and head back to the SAP folder, you can see I have the client onboarding procedure there. What I would also do is create a master SOP. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on new and new Google Doc, and I'm going to call this the master SOP. Again, I'm just gonna change my font. I'm gonna make this bigger and put it in the middle. And then all I'm going to do here is list all of the SOPs that I've written. So for example, for this one, I just have the client onboarding. And then what I'm gonna do is just like I did with that master list, I'm going to create a link to it. So back to the SAP folder, right click over client onboarding, get link, copy and done. And then I'm just gonna add the link there and apply. And as you write more SOPs, you're just gonna have a long list of them. You can put them in alphabetical order. You can put them in the order of the client journey, however it suits you. And then all you need to do, if I come out of this and go to my SOP folder, I'm just gonna click back so it updates the title. So now if I click on master SOP, I can just search through, find the one that I want, click on it, and it's going to open it directly for me. And there's my SOP. Okay, so that was a really quick demonstration on how you can use Google Docs to create SOPs within your private practice. If you're still here, I'd love to tell you about a free training that I'm doing all about how to reduce no-shows and cancellations within your private practice. It's going to be on Friday, the 20th of January at 11 a.m. UK time. If you can't make it live with me, that's okay. Just sign up and you will be sent the replay. But for now, thanks so much for watching.